Kenzo at sushi in Denver 2 transformation. I was praying to God, the Lord Jesus told me, my servant, I want to pour out my anointing, but I need a renewal and revival from my church to multiply my wonders, I want to make my people a force against evil, the works of the flesh do not change anything good in their lives because the works of the flesh are sins, the works of my spirit transforms and leads to my glory. The appearance and importance in society are worth nothing to me, many seek positions and status, I care about their salvation, tell them to seek the spiritual appearance that will leave my image and likeness in them, that's what matters to me, whatever pleases the world does not please me, I do not want the world to see my servants by status, but to see my light in their lives, the devil's agents have sacrificed lives to destroy mankind, I want my people to advance and invade those evil territories, which keeps the people captive, I empowered my church to give them spiritual weapons so they could march, many did not recognize the weapons they had, fear would not let them go on, tell my people to give up the fashion of this world, they have to be different from the world and be equal to me, my bride is a part of me, are linked through my blood, just as a man and a woman give in marriage, and become one, I am united to my church, and together we became one, from Adam's rib, left Eve, he fell asleep so that Eve was created, from my rib left the church, when I died on the cross of Calvary, I felt birth pains for the birth of my people, I want spiritual unity, and that my people give continuity to the work of the apostles, I want a united church, my apostles built the church, and who will raise the last bricks of that building are you, I do not want pastors to seek membership, I do not care for crowds, tell them to make a holy church, so I can come and get them, I passed all these revelations to the churches wherever I went, revival the Lord Jesus showed me in the vision another church that prayed for revival, the demons fought against this church, putting obstacles not to receive the revival, the demons placed barriers in their relationships and financial lives, to divert their attention from the revival and to be concerned about their problems. They began to go through great trials in their homes and did not go to the revival prayer in the church. They were stuck in their difficulties, all stopped praying and chilled, they were not prepared to receive power from heaven, and spiritual anointings, conjugal and family barriers, coupled with financial situations, prevented them from approaching God more and conquering their victories, they failed to perform the revival they sought, their desires were blocked by trials. The demons were able to impose difficulties and they did not win, the Lord Jesus told me, if they had not given up, I would have taken some of the brethren and empower all those people, the Lord Jesus showed me another church, which was waging war against the legions of demons, the people of this church were a spiritual family, united and were connected in the vine that is the Lord Jesus, edified in the truth, they were not a family of blood, but a spiritual family whose blood that bound them was the blood of the Lord Jesus. The weapons of attack of this church are evangelism. They entered the territories of the demons and attacked with the word and prayer in the homes of the people. They were vigilant toward God and inspired by the Holy Spirit, and determined to walk on the thorny path of the Lord Jesus and to remain until the end. They did not give up with adversity, they did not stop fighting for souls, they had great leadership and great soul winners. The demons tried to stop and destabilize these warriors with the evil obstacles, but they surpassed, and overcame them, this little army formed was prepared to destroy the evil fortresses of the earth, the Holy Spirit gave authority to this little church to put the demons at their feet, with their authority. They expelled the demons and sent them out, their firearms came from God, they lived praying, renounced the world to break the evil law practicing holiness and determined to follow the Lord Jesus to the end, they have great resistance to the pressures of the demons and endured the trials, caged churches the Lord Jesus said to me, in a spiritual war, those who are not armed with the spiritual weapons of God will be dominated by sin and enslaved by demons, they imprison churches in spiritual chains, many Christians are captive, the Lord Jesus showed me in the vision the devil's enslavement of churches, they were chained by sin, all were prisoners of the legions, the demons imprisoned whole churches in a great black cage, I saw other churches, where the demons walked within their hall, they did not fear the Christians there, and they walked freely, 
they did not disturb the demons, they did not frighten themselves, the Lord Jesus showed me that this church is weak, unequipped in spiritual armor to combat evil. The Lord Jesus told me, today's churches have large numbers of Christians, but they do not have the spiritual conditions to fight the world for two reasons, they have not renounced the world, they are still connected with pleasures, and are weakened in sin, the other reason is that they do not like to pray, which makes it difficult for their spiritual eyes to be opened, without prayer, they have no authority against evil, without prayer they become cold, their hearts are filled with carnal desires, they become discouraged, they cannot dominate their flesh, without prayer and holiness, they lose the strategies of vanquishing the demons, the church that does not pray is cold, they have no gifts of the Holy Spirit, its spiritual vision does not open, the people are distant from me, cannot overcome the flesh and are believers filled with strife, the legions fear a church clothed with power, that prays, humbles before me and does my will, churches that think they are self-sufficient, do not seek my face, are easy targets for demons, the Lord Jesus showed me another church, they did not bother with sin, they prostrated themselves before the world, sin had conquered that people, this Christian army is without war general that is the Holy Spirit that has moved away, these warriors no longer had spiritual ears, they lost the sensitivity of hearing the voice of God, the Holy Spirit even removed from that people, warned of the evil and danger of Satan, but sin had deafened and blinded that people, the Lord Jesus showed me the spiritual situation of that church, their hands were all chained, and the demons held those chains and dragged them to the abyss, they lack the strength to fight back, the sin in their lives had weakened and taken away their strength, the Lord Jesus showed me a church with about 500 members and revealed their spiritual realities, all this army were unarmed, their hands were naked and had not the sword of the spirit, the demons were not frightened of this church, in another vision, I saw demons wanting to undermine the forces of true Christians, Satan was preparing their last attacks against the churches, their targets were those who are committed to the truth and live the word, Satan planned to use some of these churches to provoke a rebellion against sound doctrine, and in favor of modern doctrinal reform and liberalism, Satan invests his wiles to divide the people of the holy churches, to divide the body of Christ, causing rebellion against truth. These groups that rebel left the church and draw a crowd away with them, to open temples, and impose their carnal doctrines and free of compromises with the truth, according to their vain hearts, cancer after these revelations, I felt strong pains in the belly, I knew that the cancer was getting worse, I prayed to God saying, I cannot die this way, I did not fulfill my mission, I have many souls to win, a man came to my door and said, I do not know you. I am a servant of God, he sent me here to tell you this, servant today I pluck your cancer, the man went away, I lay down in bed in pain, an angel of God appeared to me, I only remember that my sights darkened, and I fell into a deep sleep, when I woke up I was not feeling any more pain, when I lifted my shirt, I saw a small mark on my belly, it looked like a scalpel cut, an angel appeared to me and said, I stripped your cancer while you were sleeping, that little mark I left is the proof of the miracle, I went to the doctor to make new tests, he did not find anything, and said, cancer that was in my stomach has disappeared, leaving no scar, the doctor said, how can that happen? Cancer is treated with chemotherapy, killing it from the inside, cancer is not pulled out of the body in this way, someone did a little cut in your belly, and he took off cancer, how is it possible? who was the genius doctor who performed this miracle? I answered, I do not know, when I woke up I already had that mark, the Lord Jesus healed me, doctor, I returned home, thanking God for this miracle, I bent my knee and went to pray, godly girl the next day I went to a church, the Lord Jesus showed me in a vision, a godly girl, who was firm and walked in righteousness, the youth of the church bullied her and called her strange, the demons threw evil darts into her heart, leaving her with the wrath and sorrow of many in the church, every day she was isolated and separated from the rest of the youth, I prayed and rebuked those devils who attacked that young woman, at the end of the service I prayed, and I saw a breastplate coming down from the sky and covering her chest, the Holy Spirit revealed to me and said, 
today my servant is seen with the breastplate of justice, no evil dart will enter her heart, she is protected, tell her that I have wiped her heart, and she will not have hurt, nor hold a grudge of these people, today I purify her heart, I approached this girl, passed the vision and the revelation of the Holy Spirit, she was happy and approached all who persecuted her, treating them well, false religions upon returning home I had a vision of Satan and his demons creating new religions, Satan said, the greater the number of religions the more the human race will be confused, they will not see the way of truth, which will be like a small needle in a haystack, they will be so confused by so many ways that they will not know which religion is right, they will be so lost without knowing the way to walk, and many will prefer to follow any religion because they do not know the right, and walked in their own ways that will lead to death, we will make their minds that all religions are of God, and thus we will gain their souls, we will continue multiplying false churches and sects in the earth, we have little time, we will carry the largest number of souls with us, false churches, let's create several evangelical churches with their adulterated doctrines, use our ministers to teach a modified gospel, and they will never know that they are straying from the true gospel, and thus gain their souls, our struggle is to win the largest number of Christians, those in the world are already ours, Satan struck the table in the middle of the meeting and said, we have a problem, the conservative churches that have not yet modernized can exist another hundred years without changing and innovating their doctrines, these churches have few souls that we have conquered, some conservative churches have opened for modernization, we are already gaining souls there, the minority of churches have struggled against our modernization, we will press on, they cannot resist, we will exhaust them, and draw their members to go and congregate in modern churches, when these conservative pastors lose their membership, they will have no other choice but to succumb to modernity, otherwise their churches have to close their doors, witchcraft sorcerer I traveled to the city of Dapong, which is in the country of Togo, Africa, when I arrived, I rented a house to stay a month in that place doing the mission, at dusk I had a vision of a witch, she was invisible and passed through the walls, she could enter the houses, frighten people, and often discover valuables and then steal, she knew where the village people guarded the money in their homes, it left me with no explanation, how a person could have so much evil force, to be invisible, days later doing the mission, I met a woman that I saw in my vision in the center of the city, she was in the crowd, as I approached she had a strange reaction to my respect, she stood in the middle of the crowd, and she was frightened, walking backward, in the midst of that crowd, I bothered her, now I understand why the light does not match the darkness, she left my presence and fled from me, Satan does not want to see me come close to her workers so that through my life, this poor soul and slave will be released, I returned home did not understand the strange reaction of this woman, I went to pray, and in the vision, the Lord Jesus showed me why she ran away from me, in the vision, I was in the form of fire, this witch felt the temperature and began to move away, and fled because of the fire that emanated from me because it burned all the evil that was in her life, after that vision, I went to bed, I had a vision, this witch was approaching my house, I got up and went to pray, I asked the Lord Jesus to cover my house with his blood, just as he did to the houses of the Jews with the blood of the Lamb so that the angel of death does not kill, she approached and tried to enter my house, but the Lord Jesus blood covered my house, preventing her from entering, the Holy Spirit revealed me, I have work in her life, when I heard these words, I prayed to the Lord Jesus and asked him to remove the spiritual covering, the witch got inside my house, trying to scare me, she said she was a demon, I said, you're not a ghost, let alone a demon, you're just like me, the angel of the Lord who helps me in the raptures went down there with the sword of fire and arrested that woman who tried to do me wrong, she could see the angel and she was scared because she could not move, she was trapped, I told her, calm down, the angel will not hurt you, if you were a demon, he would slice you with his sword of fire, the angel released the woman, I said to her, I have authority from God, I can arrest and release you, I prayed for the Lord Jesus to cover my house with his blood, not to let you go, she was trying to get past the wall to escape, 
but the spiritual covering of the blood of the Lord Jesus prevented her from running away, she said, how did your wizard do it? I cannot get out of here, you will do me wrong, I said, I do not hurt, only good, before you appear here, the Lord Jesus showed me in the vision, you scare people by being a ghost, and steal objects from the houses, you came here but I have no valuables or riches here, how do you become invisible if you were flesh? She replied, I am not invisible, my body is out there, only my spirit that walks into houses, I have gained powers of the demons to appear to people, the same spirit rapture that Christians have, we witchcraft are also snatched to fathom the territories, the demons take our spirit to work for them, I go inside the houses to see what valuables people have, then I plunder, my body is lying near your house next to your gate. When I heard this report I ran to her body that was lying on the ground, I prayed over her and her spirit returned to her body, I lifted her off the ground, she told me, evil spirits, who gave me these spiritual abilities, sent me here to kill you, not to steal anything, I will be gone for the evil spirits are coming to rescue me, I can feel their presence from afar, I said, you cannot go, you failed the mission to kill me, let's get out of the yard and come to my house. The witch accompanied me, and we entered the house and closed the door, I prayed to God for his spiritual covering on that house, the witch said, please let me go, otherwise you're going to die today, I saw in the vision on the other side of the penthouse a legion of demons flying around the house and upstairs, everywhere were surrounded by demons, the furious demons could not get through the penthouse to get in, they wanted to kill me, the principality of that place said, Kenzo, release our servant, she is our witchcraft sorcerer of the region, you do your work, and let our servant do our mission, release her or you will be declaring the greatest war of your life, she is valuable to our plans, the Lord Jesus gave me a spiritual hearing, I could hear their voices, and I answered them, that soul no longer belongs to you, she will be converted into a new person, that you have lost, the sorceress was afraid of threats and wanted to open the door to leave, the Holy Spirit revealed to me, that there was a demon in the body of witchcraft, wanting to come out, he also revealed to me, that the demons would kill the sorceress, I laid my hands on her head and the demon manifested, I did not expel him because of the covering of the Lord Jesus blood that kept him from leaving my house, the spirits from outside could not enter, nor could the spirits inside leave my house, things began to get complicated. I and the sorceress could not go out and be torn apart by the demons, we were surrounded, the angel who helped me down into my house, he was the only one who managed to get through the penthouse, when he came down to help me, I cast out the demon from the sorceress, but that demon was trapped in my house, and could not get through the cover, the angel took that demon and went over the cover taking me out of my residence, but the legion of demons attacked the auxiliary angel, and they arrested him in the giant cage, I saw a glow that was on the ceiling, it was the very bright glow that came from the sky, the archangel Michael came down with his sword that shone like a light, and attacked that legion, releasing my auxiliary angel, the two made that legion of demons flee and those two angels ascended to heaven, I prayed for the sorceress, she was free, it was already dawn, see her account, my name is Marlies Courtney, and I may say, that God has given great authority to this pastor to make that spiritual covering by blocking the entrance to the demons, I had a mission to kill the pastor, if I fail I would lose my skills and be struck dead, for the demons knew that the pastor would fight for my conversion, thank God he did not let me leave on that turbulent night, I knew I would die if I went outside, I did not say anything to the pastor about the death plan that was armed for me. The Holy Spirit revealed the death trap to the shepherd, today I am free and serve God, I'm Pastor Kenzo, I fought the greatest spiritual battle that night, it was one of the greatest in my life, if I did not have life on the altar, that sister Marlies would have killed me, or that legion of demons would have come into my house and killed me and sister Marlies, Source, Evangelist Josiah Ivan, Mission of Nations Church. Diffusadev 2017, blogspot, com next, Kenzo at Sushi Japan posted by Chong Joshia at 5.14 pm email this blog this. Share to Twitter share to Facebook share to Pinterest.